Good evening, Luis. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Uh, Luis, I cannot, I can, I cannot hear you very well, right? Casi no lo escucho, Luis. Eh, sí, pero un poco a lo lejos. No sé, ¿usted me escucha bien? Sí, yo sí lo escucho bien. Ah, ahorita lo estoy escuchando mejor. Ah, ok, sí. Ok. ¿Será el internet o el micrófono, Luis? Creo que es el micrófono. Ah, ok. Good. ¿Ahora? Oh, perfect. Ok. How are you, teacher? Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Victor. Welcome. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Ok. Let's begin with the class. Okay, let me check. Okay, now. Let's just start with uh, The pronunciation, simple past, ED, right? This topic is difficult, so please pay attention. Pay attention, please. Forms. Past verbs has three different senses when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ed ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a T, D, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn. Watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P 
K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs and then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay, now let's see if, aha, uh -huh, we have many, many, many audios. Congratulations. Okay, a volunteer, who wants me? I have Lorena, Carolina, Juan Alfonso, Monica, Rolando, Monica, Alicia, Abel, Rolando again, and someone, I don't know what. Okay. Let's listen one, right? We're going to listen uh, Rolando. Is it okay, Rolando? <laughs> okay, let's, let's open, right? Okay, teacher. Listen the the tape recording of Rolando. The recording, I mean. <laughs> when need held, look, watch, watch, lamped, braid, kissed, dance, fight, called, cleaned, offered, the mash, loved, Used, hold, enjoyed, amazed. Amazed, right? Amazed. Oh, okay. Sorry. Don't worry. Amazed. Don't worry, Orlando. I mean, that's the idea, right? That you practice. Don't worry. Nothing is perfect. Okay. I mean, you, you don't expect everything is perfect, right? In this class, we commit mistakes. Don't worry. Okay. But I like your, your, your recording. That's nice. Thank you. That's the idea, right? That's the idea. Now we're going to listen one more, and that's all, right? See, um, I want to to listen one more. Okay, here we are, right? Monica Monterrosa, it's okay, Monica. We're going to listen your your recording. Okay, teacher. Okay, listen to Monica. Want, need, help, look, wash, love, breathe, kiss, dance, fix, cold, clean, offer, damn, low, use, follow, enjoy, amaze. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. But remember to, to give emphasis in the last sound, right? The t, t the d, d, and the e, e, right? But thank you for your recording and, and I like your pronunciation, right? And let me remark some of the sounds again. Let me remark. Wait a minute. Probably the last time we Hi, everyone. Right? In this class, a D sound. 
has Wait a minute, to, to use is following. The... Look, want, wanted. You can exaggerate, right? Los que no han hecho todavía la grabación pueden hacerla todavía. Vamos a exagerar, right? You say, want, wanted, need, needed, help. This is with T, right? Help, helped, look, looked, wash, washed, watch. Watched, laugh, laughed, breathe, breathed, kiss, kissed, dance, danced, fix, fixed. Okay? Now, the D sound. Remember the last sound is the, the. Hold, hold, clean, cleaned, offer, offered, damage, damaged, love, loved, use, used, follow, followed, enjoy, Enjoyed, amazed, amazed. Okay, good. That's it, right? Congratulations. Now, uh, someone was asking me yesterday about the extra book. Ayer me preguntaron del libro extra. Ya logramos averiguar los datos. También les enviamos los links de los sitios que yo utilizo para reforzar la, gra la gramática. Pero aquí tienen mucho material en la plataforma. Aquí no hay donde perderse. Listen. Pay attention. What are you going to do? Vamos a ir hasta abajo donde dice centro de ayuda. Okay. Look. Centro de ayuda. Le damos clic. Así como hice ayer, solo que ayer me perdí, pero hoy sí. Y nos vamos a ingresar a la plataforma. Aquí está plataforma de aprendizaje en la de en medio. Ingresar a plataforma de aprendizaje. Le damos clic. Y de ahí nos vamos hasta abajo. Ah, aquí está. Recursos académicos. Academic resources, right? Recursos, recursos académicos. Y tenemos grammar, gramática. Vamos a hacerlo más grande para que. <coughs> I'm sorry. Aquí estamos. Okay. Grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary. Y videoconferencias de tema general. Okay. Grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary. Let's go to grammar, right? We open the grammar. Open the grammar and... We have basic, intermediate, and advanced. We're going to go to basic, right? Click on basic grammar. And we have, look, the verb to be, imperative, modifiers, the future with going to, the past of be, the simple present, adverse of frequency, present progressive. Okay, let's go to exercise eight, simple past. Okay, the simple past, regular and irregular verbs. And it says the life of Juan Gary Matai, right? The Nobel Prize. La que ganó el premio Nobel, right? The life of Juan Gary, it says. She was born in 1940 in Kenya, right? From 1960 to 1966, she went to school in the United States. In 1971, she got a... a PhD, right? It's like a philosopher degree, right? It's, it's un grado de, como dijéramos aquí, como licenciatura. Algo parecido a licenciatura en Salvador. From the University of Nairobi. Uh, in, from 1976 to 2004, she planted 30 million of trees in Kenya. Can you imagine? Okay, ya quisiéramos que aquí plantaran por lo menos la mitad de esos árboles, ¿verdad? And in 2004, she won the Nobel Prize. Simple path, right? The simple path is from now to the path, right? Regular verse. Look, regular verse in the simple path, you have ED. ED, right? If the vapor sends in E, 
I'll add only the D. If the base forms anything Y, after a consonant, change the one to I and then add ED. She moved back to Kenya. She planted trees. She studied biology. And no change. It says, I study, you study, he studies, etc. Et negative. In the negative, we use did not. She didn't go to school in England, right? And time expression in the past, last week, a year ago, this morning, etc. etc. Practice. Now irregular verbs. Win won. Pitch taught. And we have more and more and more examples. Yes, no question. This is the topic of today. Esto es lo que vamos a ver este día, right? Did she finish college? Did her parents help her? We use the auxiliary did, the subject, the verb that is in present, right? And the complement. Short answer. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, and more and more and more and more practice, right? Good. So, any question? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me, please. If you, how do you say toser in English? Cough. Cough, okay. Cough. El pasado es cough, ¿verdad? Cough, no, it's cough. Cough. Ah, okay. Yes, if with you, tea, with tea. Okay, if you coughed, Hace un momento, yo, usted tosió. Ajá, uh -huh, I coughed. Ajá, entonces yo le, yo le quise decir, cuidado, teacher, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo lo puedo decir en inglés? Cuidado, uh, depende de qué nivel sea, ¿verdad? Si, si usted ve que alguien se va a caer en un barranco, si usted le quiere decir cuidado, eh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yo le, quise, yo le quise hacer como la broma ahorita de cuidado, teacher, por lo todo, lo del virus y todo. <risa> Okay, so you just say, be careful, teacher, be careful. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, be careful, please. Thank you, teacher. Understand? It's like if someone is coughing, right? Yes. Uh, I suppose it's because I was uh, I was having dinner some minutes ago and then something is here in my trouble. Teacher. Okay. Yes, tell me. Coffee, no. No, Tea. no, coffee. Oh, yeah. Tea. <laughs> Tea. No beer, no coffee. <laughs> okay, good. Tea. So only tea, tea. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, do you have questions about the use of the of this book? Eh, ¿Quién fue el que me preguntó ayer de este libro? Luis, me parece, verdad, Luis? Fui yo, teacher. Billy. Ah, Billy, yes, Billy. En el libro, verdad, Billy. Ese era el mismo libro que usted estaba hablando la vez pasada. Sí. Billy? No logro verlo, fíjese. Ah, no, 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 pero, pero ya, ya vio el, eh, la ruta que tomé. Se la enseño nuevamente. Por favor. Se la enseño nuevamente. Me... Aquí estamos en la plataforma, Billy. Nos vamos aquí abajo, hasta abajo, donde dice centro de ayuda. Le damos clic a centro de ayuda y ahí nos aparece un cuadro, ¿verdad? Donde dice plataforma de aprendizaje, nos vamos en medio, donde dice ingresar a plataforma de aprendizaje. Le damos clic y luego nos vamos hasta abajo, hasta abajo, hasta abajo. Y ahí aparecen recursos académicos. Pues ahí tiene tres libros. Ya estuvimos viendo este de gramática. Veamos este de vocabulario, si quiere. Lo abro. Le damos clic aquí. Y nos aparece vocabulario. Hay varios temas. ¿Ve? Todos esos temas. Vamos a ver eh, vocabulario del supermarket. Ahí está, el supermarket. Milk, low fat milk, skim milk, chocolate milk, etc. etc. Y ahí usted puede ir viendo el dibujo. Ok. Vocabulary, pronunciation and grammar. Ese es el libro que usted había mencionado, Billy. Yes, teacher. Yes, right? Okay. Entonces, ahí, ahí tiene el recurso para practicar, ¿verdad? En la plataforma. Hay muchos temas ahí. Gramática, pronunciación y vocabulario. Okay? Good. Now let's continue with the, with the class, right? Let's continue with the class. We're going to go to the next part. 
Okay, simple past statement with irregular verb, right? So pay attention to the video. Plus verb in the past tense using irregular verbs. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing this statement. Ok, wait, another commercial, otro comercial para los que a veces nos cuesta eh, escuchar el inglés, muy, habla muy rápido, podemos bajarle la velocidad de acá, ¿ves? Aquí estamos en 1.0, si lo queremos bien rápido, va a sonar así. así. In the past, using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. Ok, good. Pero si lo quieren bien lento, ustedes quieren escuchar bien lento, aquí. Listen. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. Okay. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. Okay? He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. No nos We met up. Acá podemos darle un click para que no nos distraiga el traductor. Aquí está el traductor, aquí no está, ¿ok? Good. Now let's continue. Eso es para que sepan usar bien la plataforma, ¿ok? Now let's continue, please. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these charts, you can see a few examples. If you notice, the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement, laundry. 
Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now let's see the commentaries. And we're going to, you're going to help me to correct, right? I, I cooked the dinner yesterday. I visited my mother in the morning. I didn't cry for the movie. I didn't dance. Okay. Give me a second here. Okay. So, Carolina Angulo, right? Commentaries? No, right? It's perfect. Nice. Simena, okay. Vicky, I don't know if Vicky. Nelly, Nelly Avendaño is from our group, right? My friend sent the email. I didn't send the email. My husband wrote his letter, this letter. You did write this letter. Okay, now. Uh, any mistake? Algunas correcciones que podemos ayudarle a Nelly? Help me, please. Eliminar la E. Ah, yes. Elimination of the E here, right? Solo un errorcito de dedo, ¿verdad? En period. No se le olvide poner los, los puntos, right? My friend sent me an, the email, right? Punto acá. I didn't send an email. Punto. My husband wrote this letter. Punto. You didn't write this letter. Punto, right? Okay, good. Rolando, I did my homework. I did not do laundry that's okay but it that's a little a little a little mistake right Rolando what is the mistake eh, eh, homework va no, unido va unido ¿verdad? Yeah. sí y fíjense que teacher esas no iba a mandar pero esas son las del exa del ejemplo that's okay, pero yeah. mandé las que no eran well, don't worry but it's okay look I did my homework I did not do laundry right? or I didn't do laundry Abel let me see I did exercise at home. Okay, here, Abel, um, it's not necessary to use the, the auxiliary, right? Or the verb, right? When the, we use exercise, you just say the verb. I exercised, okay, at home. So it's not necessary here, right? Now, I didn't do the report for tomorrow, excellent. My mother got up very early today. That's okay. La mamá y los papás siempre se levantan temprano. Good. Thank you. And do you have a good song? No, I don't understand this one. Este comentario si no lo entiendo. Okay. But anyway, thank you for your commentaries. Thank you very much. Now we'll go to the knowledge check, right? Knowledge check. Complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verbs in the past tense, right? Now we have a question, right? You have a good summer. Okay, in this case, it's, uh, it's a yes, no question, right? So what is the auxiliary for the, for the simple past? Did. Did, right? Did. You here is no option, right? Aquí no hay opción de tú el das. Solo vamos a poner el did en las preguntas, okay? And then, yes, I did. I... And then we copy the past tense of the irregular verb have. So we say, I can tell, but, but you know what is the past, right? Then I, in the past tense of go, right? I, I, in my opinion, this exercise is very simple, very easy, right? Tuvieron problemas en hacer este ejercicio? No. No. It, like in English, we say it's a piece of cake, right? It's a piece of case. Como decimos los salvadoreños, estaba chiche, right? <laughs> or in English also, they say, it was a breeze. Era una brisa, era algo fácil, right? Okay, now, let's go to the PowerPoint presentation for today. PowerPoint presentation. Let me share the PowerPoint presentation. A ver si no me equivoco ahora. Uh, here, right? Beginner. Okay, good. Now, We listen to Firulais over there, right? Siempre se escucha Firulais al fondo. <laughs> okay, now. Beginner module 
three, right? This was the presentation of yesterday, but I will present the presentation today. I will give you the presentation today. Okay, objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple past yes, no question. Simple past yes, no question. We already saw the affirmative and the negative sentence. Ya vimos las oraciones afirmativas y negativas. Ahora vamos a ver las preguntas de sí y no. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting, right? Vamos a ver una conversación donde se emplea el pasado simple en una forma práctica, o sea, en la vida real. Okay? Then, vocabulary. Anywhere, hiking, road, whitewater rafting. So repeat after me, please. Anywhere. Hiking, road, white water rafting, right? Okay, now, anywhere is cualquier lugar, cualquier parte. Hiking is when you go up to the mountain, right? Cuando subimos la montaña. Road is the past tense of ride. For example, you ride a horse. <laughs> ride a horse, right? In the past tense is I rode a horse. Rode a horse, right? And white water rafting uh, is rápidos, lo rápido, right? We can make this in metapan, right? In metapan, como que se puede hacer esta práctica, en los rápidos. En Apuzunga, right? Good place. Okay, now. Simple past, yes, no question, right? What is the structure? The auxiliary D, that is for all the subjects, I, you, we, we, he, she, they, Maria, Misifus, etc., etc., right? The subject, the verb, and the complement. The verb is in, in simple present because we're using the auxiliary. Look, did Anna open the window? Notice open is not open, no, right? It's open. Talking about open, what, what is the past tense of open? Can you help me? Open it. Uh, mm, no, let me see. Marleni, no va a ayudar. Marleni, what is the past tense of open? ¿Qué sonido le ponemos, Marleni? ¿La T o la D? La D. Excellent, Marleni, congratulations. Opened, opened. Porque la N es boceada, ¿verdad? En, 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 okay. Okay. Opened. Pero aquí está en presente, así que no hay problema. Now let's continue. Did she walk home? Hablando de walk. Noemí, ¿qué sonido va, lleva en pasado walk? ¿La T o la D? Excuse me, teacher. El verbo walk, ¿qué sonido lleva si lo queremos pasar al pasado? ¿La T o la D, Noemi? La T. Excellent. Very good. Because it's walk. So we say walk. Right? Pero también, nuevamente, como es pregunta, y usamos la auxiliar, aquí no es necesario pasarlo al pasado. ¿verdad? Did you work in the garden? Did you sing a song? Did she sit on a chair? Good, now please repeat after me. Did Anna open the window? Did she walk home? Did you work in the garden? Did you sing a song? Did she sit on a chair? Okie dokie, now, practice, right? Now, uh, you're going to help me to, to make this uh, yes, no question, right? You are going to convert these sentences into yes, no question. Rolando, eh, ya estamos bien, ¿verdad, Rolando, para participar? I feel good. Okay, I feel good. <laughs> okay, come on, Rolando. Now, I need you to make a yes, no question with this sentence, right? Quiero que me construya una pregunta de sí, no, en pasado, usando estas, estas um, palabras. 
Se llaman eh, esos prompts. Ajá. Sería, did you the cough to visit? Mm -hmm. Vámonos a la estructura otra vez. Did you, y luego al verbo, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, okay. vamos otra vez. Sorry. Vamos otra vez, otra vez. Again, right? Uh, did you? Sería... Did you visit the castle? Excellent. Did you visit the castle? Yes. Okay, good. Si no me escuchan bien, aquí tengo anuncio de wow. internet inestable. Ah, yes, it's up. Right? Tengo internet inestable en estos segunditos, pero si no me escuchan. Thank you, Orlando. Thank you very much. No, so Marlene, the... again. Vamos a molestar a Marlene nuevamente. Ya vi que Marlene está en la jugada. Marlene, congratulations. Okay, now, Marlene. Make a, make a, yes, no question, Marlene. Uh, did Jenny look on the door? Lock the door, right? Lock quiere decir, eh, oh, le echó llave. Lock, in... lock the door. Uh -huh. Lock the door. Uh -huh. Le echó llave la puerta. Lock the door. Mm -hmm. Did Jenny lock the door? Thank you, Marlene. Noemi, please. Number three. Esta lleva un poquito, Noemi. Esta lleva una cascarita. Vamos a ver si no hay cae, Noemi. Bien, teacher. Casi no Noemi? se escucha. Hello. Hello. ¿Y ahora? Hello, hello. Hi. Sí, ahora sí. Yes. Sí, sí, ok. Si es que el internet ahorita está así. Ok, now, Noemi, can you hear me, Noemi? Yes, teacher. Ok, hágame una pregunta de yes, no, en pasado con, con este. Le repito, tiene una cascarita, no se vaya a caer ahí. <ríe> ok, ok. It's difficult, eh? Esto está difícil. Come on. Ajá, Noemi. No. Okay, don't worry. Don't no, worry. No. no, no, ¿verdad? Okay, don't worry, Noemi. No worry. Es algo difícil. Billy, Billy nos va a sacar de este apuro. Okay, come on, Billy. What is the yes, no question? <laughs> It is... Did she... Ok, le voy a dar una pista para que salgamos todos de este embrollo. No lleva did. ¿No lleva? No lleva el auxiliar did. No, Billy. No, teacher. No. Ok, Luis. Come on, Luis. Ok, teacher. Is she... Es pregunta, es pregunta, Luis. Pero si ya dijo que no lleva did. No, ser... entonces tiene que ser cuál. ¿Ah? ¿Cuál tiene que ser? Ajá. B. B. B, uh, B, B, right? ¿Y cuál es B. el pasado del, del B? Luis. B, B. No. No. Es was. Oh, sorry. Yes. Was. Ok, ahora sí haga la pregunta. Was she happy? Excellent. Was she happy? Ok, esta cascarita es solo para que vean que también el verbo to be es importante, ¿verdad? Sigamos. Aquí sí ya vamos con el, con el did. Alonso, please. Alonso. Alonso Tejada. No lo tengo anotado, por cierto, Alonso, déjeme ver. Eh, Hi, teacher. Hey, hello, Alonso. Eh, es la primera clase que está con nosotros, o, o yo lo he anotado con otro nombre. No, aquí sabe. No, lo que pasa es que eh, esta ah, semana es que... se me arruinó la cámara. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Perdón, Alonso, es que <ríe> lo tengo como José Alonso, entonces. Eh, ahorita lo estoy viendo solo Alonso. Ok, thank you, Alonso. Ah, 
Sí, yo sé que, number four, please. No me preocupes, solo dígame la respuesta. Number four. Eh, formulo la... Yes, the question. The yes, no question. Ok, ok. Eh, did... Ajá. Uh -huh. Did... Eh, did... The, the ball... Ok, solo, solo es, ¿cuál es el sujeto acá? The ball. No, de Greg. Sí, porque la pelota no le puede pegar a Greg, pero Greg sí le puede pegar a la pelota. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces sería, did Greg. Did Greg. Eh, keep the ball. Eso, Greg, keep the ball. Did Greg keep the ball? Porque la pelota, right? No, Victor, number five. Victor. Golpeó la pelota, o, o cómo yes, es? Yes, le, le pegó, kick es, kick es pero pegarte de, ah, con una patada, por ejemplo. Ajá, una patada, kick. Ah, ah, ok, ok. Ok. Eh, pateó, para, si quieres más, más exacto. Eh, Greg, pateó la pelota de Greg. Ah, okay, okay, now. Now, please, Victor, number five. Did the car stop at the corner? Excellent. Juan Alfonso. Now, She pushed her bike. Transformela en pregunta, Juan Alfonso. She pushed her, her bike. Pero vamos a hacer una cosa. Vamos a, vamos a salirnos de acá. Y vamos a escribir juntos. Para que se vea. Aquí. Ok, come on. Come on, Alfonso. Beer. Did she push her bike? ED, yes or no? ED, yes or no? Yes. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Le pongo la ED. Sí o no? No, no, no. No, right, no, okay. Why? Because the auxiliary, right? Sí, okay. el auxiliar? No lo she, did, did she push her bike? Her bike. Excellent. Now, Eric. Eric, number two, Eric. Eric, hello. Okay, number two, Eric. Conviértamelo en pregunta. She carried a bag. Did she? Did she? Carried a bag. Carried o carry. ¿Cuál de los dos? El primero. El primero. Ah, qué. Okay. Eric. Esta es la forma del pasado, ¿sí? Y aquí estamos usando, eh, utilizando did. ¿Se puede o no se puede? No. No, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a poner el presente. Carry. Uh -huh. Carry. Did she carry? A bag. A bag. Did she carry a bag? Good, thank you. Mónica, please, number three. Did we wait in the park? Wait or waited, Monica? Wait. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Alejandro, please. Okay. Did the policeman arrest? The thief? Arrest? Arrest, the, no, right? Arrest, right? Arrest, the yes. The thief. The thief? Arrest, oh, sorry. The thief, right? El mañoso. Okay. Did the policeman arrest the thief? The thief? Sorry. 
And Carolina, please. Number five, Carolina. We eat fish. Did we eat fish? Okay, okay. Now, any question? Any question about the yes, no questions? Any question about the yes, no questions? Okay, good. So I will continue now. I will close this. Okay, and we continue with the platform, right? Vamos a hacer con la plataforma. Okay, simple pass, yes, no question. Look at the video, right? Listen to the video. Listen and watch. Subject plus the to learn to ask and answer simple pass, yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the question. Horses. Okay, now please repeat after me. Repeat after me. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I, my sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. We saw the pastensis. Mm, okay. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? It's a yes, no question. Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Pay attention in the pronunciation of love. Love. Loved. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? Did you go hiking there? Is other yes, no question. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. Actually, we rode horses. Rode is the past tense of ride. And we also went. When is the past tense of road? We also went white water rafting. White water rafting. Rafting. White water. White water rafting. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. On the Colorado River. Wow. Do you have fun? 
for that example of yes, no question in the past. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Now, please listen and repeat. Nah, we saw the Grand Canyon. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Come on, repeat, repeat. Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, that's it right now. Let's go to the structure. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions. Okay, now please repeat after me. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Played. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Liked it. Liked. Liked it. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Now look so at the we structure. We can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark, a good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense, have turn into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we'll add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. 
After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. Okay, good. Any extra question? Any extra question about this? Yes, no questions? So here we have some examples, right? Rolando Campos. Did you go to the beach last Sunday? No. We went with my wife to the zoo to see the animal, right? Well, it says animales, but you only ask to erase the ear. <laughs> Talking about this class, uh, this coming Saturday, they will open again the zoo in Colonia Costa Rica, right? This coming Saturday, este sábado, por si está interesado, van a abrir nuevamente el zoológico, okay? Y también le recomiendo Fureza, it's beautiful, right? The, that place. Okay, now, so, and questions. Um, aquí sí no entiendo lo que quisieron poner, pero bueno. I need more commentaries, class, please. More commentaries in this video. Now, the knowledge check, right? Unscramble the questions. Las preguntas están desordenadas y las vamos a ordenar, right? Unscramble the questions by putting the words in the correct order. So, you know these are questions, right? Lo primero que sabemos que son preguntas. Y lo primero que vamos a hacer es poner el did. Yes? Good. Look at this, right? What television did you last night? Las expresiones de tiempo o el lugar van siempre de último. Okay? Entonces aquí vamos a poner el auxiliar, el sujeto y el verbo. Ok, el auxiliar es este, el sujeto es you y el verbo es watch. Lo demás, vean ustedes. Ok, good. Start with capital letter, comience con mayúscula, ok. Now, have dinner you did last night. Nuevamente, el auxiliar, el sujeto y el verbo. Si no, si no sabemos la fórmula, ya la hicimos. Aquí tenemos 10. Go to work yesterday. El, el auxiliar, el sujeto y el verbo. Ok. To work is a complement, right? El auxiliar, el sujeto y el verbo. Ok. Good. Solo tengan cuidado. Bueno, aquí Wesley está con minúscula, pero tiene que ser con mayúscula. Y uh, también television no debe llevar la tilde, porque si lleva una tilde, está en español, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser en inglés. Television, right? Questions? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre este ejercicio? Ah, ok. ¿Sí, Rulais? ¿Pregunta? Mike Firulais. ¿Cómo se llama, Rolando? ¿Cuál es el nombre de Tom? Maya. My, ah, it's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> okay, good. It's a mini pitbull. Oh, okay, excellent. Good. Now we're going to watch the, the last video. Vamos a ver el último video y terminamos la clase. Okay. Activity. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these. 
Okay, what we're going to do here is easy, right? ¿Qué actividades van con qué verbo? Right? Okay, for example, play. You don't say, I play teacher. <laughs> I play teacher. No, no, right? I play tennis. Huh? I play volleyball. Hmm? I take. I take a movie. <laughs> I take. No, no, right? I take a movie, no. So what you're going to do is to look at the appropriate uh, vocabulary here, right? And finally, we have the reading. Reading, right? In this case, we have three people and what they did on the weekend, right? Tenemos tres personas y qué es lo que hicieron el fin de semana? ¿Qué es lo que hicieron estos chicos? There. I didn't like the music at all. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. Okay, y pues ahí podemos leer lo que le pasó a Kelly, a Robert y a Erin, right? Si hay alguna palabra que no sepamos, podemos ir a Google, right? A googlear. Hasta la pronunciación nos, ap nos aparece en Google, ¿verdad? La palabra que no sepamos. ¿Ok? Y luego contestamos. Nuestros comentarios acá, ¿right? Sobre el video. That's it, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, we finish section four, right? Hemos terminado la sección cuatro. Para este fin de semana, pues, los que no hayan completado todas las actividades, me hacen el favor de hacerlo, por favor. Si hay preguntas, me la mandan al grupo y ahí estoy. A sus órdenes. Sir, yes, sir. A sus órdenes, ¿verdad? Ahí estamos. Cualquier pregunta. Good. Eh, ¿Alguna otra pregunta ahorita, antes de que terminemos? ¿Questions? No question, no right? Question. No question. No question. Pasen un feliz fin de semana. Have a no, nice weekend. Eh, Alicia, que se mejoren. Sí. La esperamos para el lunes ya recuperadita, ¿verdad? Con todos esos poderes en la vista. <laughs> ¿Ok? Gracias. Bye, bye. You're welcome. Have a nice weekend. God bless bye bye. you. Bye-bye. See you Monday. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.